Modern Roman numerals are a very different beast from the more commonly used Arabic numerals, but they follow some simple conventions. Instead of the digits 0 through 9, seven letters of the Latin alphabet I, V, X, L, C, D, and M denote the base numbers 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1000, respectively. These numerals can then be combined and their values added together to form any other number. The goal when combining numerals is to express the number as efficiently as possible. So while 62 could technically be expressed as 4 10s, 3 5s, and 7 1s, it should instead be expressed as a 50, a 10, and 2 1s. Numerals are generally written from left to right, with the largest value numeral written first. However, because writing four of the same symbol in a row, for example 40 as XXXX, is clunky and difficult to read, certain numbers are written in subtractive form. In this example, 40 would be written instead as XL, with the smaller value numeral on the left, indicating that the 10 should be subtracted from the 50. Subtractive form usually only involves one pair of numerals, and only replaces a 4, 9, 40, 90, 400, or 900. So, for example, subtractive form is generally not used to write 499 as ID, but rather as 400 plus 90 plus 9, or CD, XC, IX. It is important to mention that these rules are not set in stone, they are simply the most commonly used modern-day conventions. The Romans themselves often used different numbering conventions within the same document or building. In fact, gate 44 of the Colosseum in Rome is labeled XLIIII, using a subtractive notation for 40, but not 4. Furthermore, there were several different methods for writing numbers greater than 1000. Most involved a mark signifying that a number should be multiplied by a power of 10. While conventions became more standardized throughout the Middle Ages, there is still no authoritative source defining how Roman numerals should be written. In addition to the lack of consistency and often burdensome notation, the Romans lacked a way to denote the concept of zero. These factors made mathematics beyond simple addition and subtraction very difficult, and led to the eventual rise of Arabic numerals throughout Europe and the former Roman Empire by the 10th century AD. Today, Roman numerals are generally used ornamentally to add an air of gravitas and tradition. They often denote the date of copyright for books, films, and TV programs, as well as dates on gravestones, buildings, and monuments. Recurring sporting events like the Olympics and Super Bowl utilize Roman numerals, and they are incorporated into the names of monarchs, popes, and people named after their ancestors. Analog clocks also often use Roman numerals, though here it is common practice for the four to be written as IIII instead of IV. Arabic and Roman numerals are sometimes used together to indicate two separate numbering schemes, for example, to denote the volume and issue number of a publication. Despite the worldwide prevalence of Arabic numerals, Roman numerals are still scattered throughout Western writing. A solid understanding of their mechanics will help you to more easily navigate Western literature, art, and culture.